Hi everyone, so to now we're going to try to combine what we have learned from the last two revision topic Expansion, the first one, and the second was solving simple linear expression So now we're going to try something a little bit more challenging Okay, so you're going to solve Solve means you're going to find out what is the unknown So usually it's x, so what is the unknown, alright So, uh, let's say we have this question, alright So 3 bracket x plus 4 equals to 10 okay so first things first when you see this okay settle the bracket that means you want to remove the bracket by expansion okay so if you recall expansion means you remove the bracket by multiplying whatever is outside one by one okay with whatever is inside the bracket so 3 times x Okay, is positive 3x. Okay, 3 times positive 4 is positive or plus 12. And then equals 10. They never do anything to this, right? So you just leave it as it is. Okay, now to solve, whatever whatever has x, okay, whatever has x with it, you leave it on the left side. Okay, so 3x will remain here. The numbers, all the numbers only, you want it to move or remain on the right side. So 10 remains on the right side. But the positive 12, now, is going to be shifted here, right? So remember, the sign has to change. So now it's negative 12. Okay, if you're not sure why this is so, refer to the earlier video, right? Okay, now, so once you have done this, you can use your calculator. 3x is equal to negative 2. Okay, here comes the interesting part and very important. When you want to split 3 and x or any number from the x if it's attached. Okay, like the 3x here, they are attached. It means this is 3 times x. This is not 3 plus x. It is not 3 minus x. It is 3 times x. So the opposite of multiplication is division, right? So to split it, you need to divide. So what it means is, remember this, huh? x remain here on the left. But you will divide by the number that you want to remove from the left side. So you divide by 3. Okay? So when you do this, you will know that x is equal to negative 2 third. Okay? x is equal to negative 2 third. Okay, I'll give you one more example. Alright? So let's say we want to do 6 bracket x minus 2 equals to uh, maybe 8. Okay, so same things first, you do the rainbow method, the expansion. So once you have done with the expansion, okay, so this 6 times x is positive 6x, 6, 6 times negative 2, be careful it's negative, so it has to be negative 12. Equals 8 remain, okay now, can you recall what must you do? Leave the x, all the number x, okay, together all, that means... The whole of 6x must be here, uh, kept on the left side. You cannot split the 6x now. Okay, 8 will remain on the right. But the negative 12 here needs to be shifted here, right? So negative 12 will become positive 12. So now you know, you can use your calculator to help you. 8 plus 12 is 20. Okay, so if you remember what we did here, earlier over here. You can still remember? You want to remove the 3. Okay, you divide Okay, on the other side, whole number, all the entire number, it becomes divide here. Eh? Okay, so similarly on this side, the number that you want to remove is six. You divide six, so that means x, x equals twenty over six, or divide by six. You can use your calculator here. You will get the answer. Three. Okay, let me see. Three, sixteen, three, and one third. Okay. Okay. Alright. So if you still have further questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, maybe I can give you some questions for you to try out later. Alright. Bye bye.